Welcome into The Real Deal. Um, this is the, the episode before it gets rolling. Um, practice now around the corner, um, beginning on Thursday. And Luke, what's the excitement level first? Uh, new staff, um, everything that's going on around the program, what's the excitement level from inside the locker room? I think it's, it's kind of different from years past. I mean, I know there's a lot of guys that are new here, so a lot of guys have never been through a camp here. Um, but just talking to everybody, I talked to a bunch of our, our quarterbacks, talked to our offensive linemen, a bunch of different guys. They're just they're really anxious and excited, like just to just to get going. Um, I talked to a couple of the guys in our room, and they're just so ready for actual ball to be played. You know, I mean, workouts are great, and these things are where our team gets really close and we get in really good shape. But yeah. when you put on the pads, it's a different story. Let's go to that first. Coach Dom, you talked about him. Mm -hmm. We've had other guys talk about him. How different has this summer been, what you guys got through the spring, how different yeah. has this summer been in preparing for a season? Is it closer to kind of what you guys did under under Gus and, and, and Coach Russell before, or is it kind of a mix of both? I think it's somewhat of a mix of both. Um, definitely closer to Coach Russell and Coach Malzahn's staff, but I think the biggest thing for us, football-wise, has been a lot of our conditioning. Our conditioning is really football-related, short, um, football movements, mm -hmm. but also really, really hard. And uh, I know a lot of people talked about how hard the Harson era was with strength and conditioning, which it was, but so was Coach Doms in its own respect. And man, like I said, it, more than football, I feel like it's built our team up. It's we've we've gotten to the point where we hold each other accountable. We everybody goes out there and works hard. You got guys talking in each group, so it's been huge for this program and I know that that definitely contributes to some of the excited nature yeah within the locker room how much is that carried over even from the end of last year just some mm -hmm. changes coach Cadillac I mean there were some changes in the strength room then how much yeah. is it even carried over from the end of last season I think I think I told a lot of people this I think that that momentum whether it's a new staff new players new anything it's something that's gotten Auburn buzzing since then you know and that's a that's a big thing we definitely thrive with Auburn support and people are so excited for the season so excited for coach Freeze and his staff so excited for the new transfers just how we're all gonna mesh together and I think that has helped us within the locker room because you usually block out outside noise yeah. but right now with with the momentum high that we are kind of on after being really low mid-year last year I mean it's it's been really really good you, you mentioned transfers. We ran into one of the guys coming through the building. Mm -hmm. I had to ask you who he was again, and I've, we covered the, the, the transfer. I mean, it's even since the spring, yeah. there's a bunch of new faces. <clears throat> How important is it for, I guess you mentioned the summer's helped out, but yeah. these first week or two of practice to kind of see what everybody's got, because it's almost, it's not like yeah. starting over, but it, yeah. is in a, in, it is in a way. Every time you hit the field, it's going to be a new way to compete. Every time uh, you compete out here in the summer, obviously uh, compete for leadership roles, compete for uh, coaches, trust players, trust. But at the end of the day, we want to win football games. Yeah. So anytime we can put the pigskin down and uh, guys can prove what they've got coming from different places, uh, it's going to be a big deal. Uh, and, and I think that with all the transfers and everybody coming in, trying to blend in together, it's, going to be huge because you know in fall camp we're with each other 24 7 uh, just about and we spend a lot of time with each other a lot of that's work some of that is just hanging out with everybody during breaks and that's going to be a big thing for us because you want to be the closest team going into September you want to and that's going to be something that fall camp's going to bring us that other times in the year just can't how much has that helped from the staff perspective we've seen cookouts we've seen coach Ben, you yeah. guys we've seen guys playing golf together mm -hmm. how much has that helped from the top down coach freeze down those relationships the bonding part of things more than football yeah i would i would argue that that was their biggest this coaching staff's biggest task coming to auburn is in this new era of college football this is this is how it's going to be you have all of these different personalities different backgrounds and how do we get everybody together how do you Get your rooms together. I know for the tight end room, we already had a close room, um, but obviously adding guys like Rivaldo and um, the same with every other position group on the team, it's how do you bring everybody close? And I think that was their biggest task, and I think they've done a great job. And this summer has been 
utilized to its maximum in, in terms of just building relationships with guys. Yeah, um, everybody talks quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. you, you've been around those guys all summer. This is a competitive group. You right. add in a veteran guy like Peyton Thorne. We've seen Robbie, I think, mature in a lot of ways since last season. Obviously, holding yeah. him there, got a newcomer. How excited are you for, I mean, because obviously, everybody says, hey, the quarterback competition, for you guys, it's, it doesn't matter. Right. But it's still fun to watch the competition. Mm -hmm. How much fun do you think that's going to be? Yeah, I mentioned at Media Days to a lot of people, like, I was here for a great quarterback battle uh, my first semester. I yeah. mean, I had Bo ended up beating out Joey Gatewood, who was the front runner in that, mm -hmm. and Malik Willis, yeah. who we saw what he did. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was always interesting for me to watch QB battles like that. And I think that we've got some talented guys in that room, and it's going to be, at the end of the day, Coach Freeze is going to play whoever's going to win the most football games. Yep. And whether fans agree or disagree or this or that, these guys' jobs and their lives are on the line. So uh, it's a huge business, and a business that ultimately you just want to you want to win ball games and uh, create great men out of just boys who come into a college setting. So I, I think that the competition is going to be great. I think that whoever the best man is will start. Yep. Now that could change in season, mm -hmm. and you know that. I mean, there could be multiple guys play. Uh, there could be a huge switch, or uh, Lord forbid we don't want any injuries, but mm -hmm. everybody's got to be ready. And I think fall camp's a great time for everybody to get seasoned. Even though we have Peyton, like you said, he's very uh, seasoned. Robbie has played a lot, started a lot of football games. Um, and like you said, Holden comes in having had a little bit of experience. Yeah. And last year, all throughout practice, he's had uh, experience. This spring, he, he looked great. So, yeah, just seeing who will rise to the occasion and who's going to walk out there week one as, as the guy. It's yeah. going to be fun. I'm going to put you on the spot, not scary, but uh, that's fine. take the tight end group out. Okay. What's a position group that is going to surprise people when they see that group this fall? Hmm. I think... I think up, it always starts up front, right? I mean, um, we love to see all the different transfers we've had on the defensive side. Uh, obviously, the receiver room is a, a changed room, but to me, offensive line play, defensive line play, that's going to be huge. And I think that we've got a really good, uh, in a much deeper offensive line room, much deeper defensive line mm -hmm. room than people realize. I mean, even we were talking the other day i mean we've got some of the guys that may have been hurt or may have been they're going to come back and we're going to have a huge advantage whenever they do so just depth and talent wise i'd say up front trenches offensive defensive line all right well that's it luke deal the real deal preseason camp on the edge of it we'll be talking to luke throughout the camp and throughout the season so stay tuned